Away from that, the Shippers Owners and Agents Association says uh, the decision to introduce terminal handling charge by shipping lines is a global one and one also that can therefore not be withdrawn. Vice President of the Association, Imoro Ayana, says the world shipping body is rolling out the charge to help keep the lines in business amidst drastic drop in international freight rates in the shipping sector. The role of shipping lines in sea transport and international trade cannot be overemphasized. World shipping business in recent times is dwindling owing to a drop in freight rates. As a result, ship owners and principals have decided to separate terminal charges from ocean rates before a shipper decides to import. The directive was taken to help save the business. Ship agents in Ghana have begun to comply with the directive but was later kicked against by freight forwarders and importers, forcing the transport minister to suspend the charge. Increasingly around the west coast, the terminal charges, that is the Steve Dorin charges, keeps going high and the freight rates are also tumbling and we given an all-inclusive rate. We might get to a place where our freight rate might even be zero. We can't continue this way and uh, there could be collapse of lines etc so in west africa let's try to change the structure of our freight the vice president of the ship owners and agents association imoro ayana says shipping lines must stay afloat in the wake of the increasing port charges if they do not collect it and they release the cargo, their principals would come back to them to pay those monies. So in their books, they'll be owing their principals. Transport Minister Fifi Fiafi Kwete says he has received a report from the committee tasked to investigate the issue. I've received the report from the Ghana Maritime Authority on the matter, and it is being studied. I will soon reconvene a meeting with the stakeholders in order to bring a final resolution to the impasse. TV3 will keep viewers posted on this developing story.